Good afternoon, how are you all? Well, I've had a fabulous morning. I am designing with my lovely designer, Phoebe, some amazing dyes. She's literally, Tim just had to tear me away from Phoebe. I'm so into it, honestly. I can't wait for you to see. They're so beautiful, so, so beautiful. They're gonna be a staple dye in your stash. They're so beautiful, I cannot wait to show you all. If you are tuning in for the first time, my name is Tony Darrock and this is our Create Together Club showdown, should we say, where we give you inspiration on your stamps that you've purchased. And it's like a little club where we all get really interactive with one another. If you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button. There is a bell, which will give you that half an hour notice as well. And um, just come and say hello. We are a fabulous channel. We have some lovely ladies and gents who tune in every single day from all over the world. So why not come and join us for some fun? We do not expect you to buy the products. If you like the products, you can buy them. But equally, some of the techniques and demos that we do will probably work with most of, probably 80 or 90% of your stash that you have at home. So we do encourage you playing with what you've already purchased, whether it be my brand or another brand. We're not precious about it. Just come and enjoy the fun and inspiration. Let's do a little shout out. Hi, Michaela, Anita, Jan. Hi, everyone. You're all saying hello. Um, let's all, Denise. Question, question, Tony. Did you have eight by eight cards and envelopes? We're out of them, unfortunately. Um, I have ordered some more, though, from our lovely Anna Marie Designs. So as soon as they land, I'll let you all know. So Margaret, Brenda, Pauline, Maureen, Marilyn, Geraldine Lewis. She's able to watch live today. Off to work. Oh, shingles. So oh, snuggled up in bed watching, brilliant. Okay, well, get well soon, sweetheart. Shingles is not a great sketch. Um, Audrey, Roxy Lee, Michaela. Shall we get straight into demo? So let me just explain the club because every day I come live, more people get involved in our fabulous Create Together Club. So basically, if you want to get involved in it, the Create Together Club is underneath this video. I'll type create into the search engine and it'll bring it straight up for you. But it is a three stamp sort of bundle and we send them all together, two of which are sealed. One is open, which is the one that I'm using right now. And then I will tell you in January to open number envelope two and then tell you in April to open envelope number three. OK, don't cheat. I'm trying to save on carbon footprint, but I know a lot of you have cheated, which is naughty. Um, but equally, with every step, you get the week's worth of inspiration. This is day six, I believe, of our inspirational content. So we've got one more. We are not live tomorrow, though, ladies and gents. We have plans for tomorrow. But we're back with you on Thursday at one o'clock with the um, inspirational content for this stamp. Now, this is the stamp that we're working with. And if you want to get involved at this stage or at stage two when you see stamp three, or even at stage three when you open stamp number three, you can get involved. We don't sell the stamps as individuals. They only come as the Create Together Club because it is what it says in the name, Create Together, OK? And if you like a surprise, it's always nice when you forget that you've bought it and you get that opportunity on me to say open stamp open stamp number two now we're going to work on that one for a solid week and it's not often we work on a stamp for a week use it two or three times you might revisit it but you know um that solid inspiration so this is the one we're working on again today you can see all of the samples we've made so far with our creative content we've done some gel pen work we've done some acetate work we've done some arty mixed media backgrounds with credit cards or gift cards We've done some vellum overlays, we've done some windows, we've done some stepper where you cut it into elements, techniques. Just sometimes you know all of the techniques that I show you, but it's good for me to just show you and revisit them so you'll do them again. Lots and lots of different ones there. So that is stamp set one, and then you'll get two and three in the post and you'll open them at separate times. Don't open them until I tell you. So over on our Stamps By Me page, we have Maria Clark. Hi there, hi sweetheart. Shadia, um, Tony, is, are the Create Together subscriptions open to everyone? They absolutely are. Just go and um, get it. We'll send all three together. Just don't open envelope number two and number three till I tell you. Hi, Emma. Um, Mon Shadia says, morning, Tony. Oh, that's that, that, uh, I've just lost that come up, but it said something about Canada. We do send to Canada. We sell all over the world. Our website is geolocated. It knows where you are in the world, so you'll get all the right price points and things that are special offers and postage costs um, de designed to work around you and whereabouts you are in the world. 
and it's open to everybody. Yep. Hi, Emma. So, Geraldine, lovely to see you all. Right, let's get cracked right on. So today, we're going to do some backgrounded techniques, something a little bit different. So you're going to need two circles of two different sizes. So it could be the lid off a wow embossing powder. It could be the lid off something, anything, as long as it's circular. And I've got two sizes. So this is off my stamp cleaning cloth and this is off my um, brushes. There we go. So two different sizes here, OK? So we're going to create a nice background. So I have some watercolour card. Now, this result, this sort of technique works better on watercolour card. But if you don't have any, normal cardstock will suffice, OK? So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to mix some colours on here. Colours that work together. OK? So let me just separate this because it's stuck together. So I'm going to go down the line of teal, pink and blue, maybe or something like that. So mix the colours that you love. This is just one of my old watercolour palettes. That's absolutely amazing. Um, so let's go with some nice blue. So I'm just going to get a puddle. So I've got my four actual squares on my companion here, but I'm just that's going to indicate that I just want to keep them separated a little bit. So I'm going to get a nice, nice, nice thick consistency of this blue on here. thick as I can and then I'm going to go maybe this colour here lovely lovely fuchsia pinky colour on here get some on my brush mix it up now you could use ink pads if you don't have a watercolour palette hopefully you'll have a brush but all the things that I do use are available on the website if you do want to invest in anything um, moving forward so we've got some pink there let's get a nice greeny colour. I'm going for the four, nice greeny teal. And then go with a nice, oh, so many colours, so many colours. Let's go with an orange. Get lots of pigment on there like so. So I've got my four colours just mixed there, okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lid of my, um, uh, off my stamp cleaning cloth here. Any questions, just shout, oh, that pink. <laughs> and all I'm going to do is I'm sort of like going to tap it into the watercolour so it catches. Now, I don't want to mix it too much, but I would like to get the colour just on that ring, and I'm just going to stamp it anywhere. Give the chance. And you end up with this ring that looks pretty much nothing. So then I'm going to bring in my water for some colours here. And I'm bringing my clean, clear water. I say clean, clear. Look at that. My gosh. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush with the water, take out some of the water. I'm just going to connect to the side of the colour and create some pretty bubbles. Now, when you're doing this technique, what you need to remember is try not to mix the colours as such and um, try and keep them separate if you can. So keep changing the, the colour of your brush and you must leave some white space in the circle, OK? So leave some white space somewhere. So I'm just dragging that ink and I'm going to leave a bit of white space there and a little bit of white space. You see how I've just left that bit of white space there? Now, I've done that, but really I would like some more colour on there. Super easy. So I'm just going to pick up my um, circle again. I'm just going to dip it back in the ink and I'm just going to stamp it back on top. There we go. So I've got a bit more colour to help me out there. I'm just going to pull that ink out. And before I go from that blue to that purple, pink, sorry, I'm going to just get change my, take the colour off my brush. And then before I go from that pink into that yellow, can we see that there? And I've left, I don't know if you can see that, I have left some space. I haven't covered the whole circle with water. I've left some space. Just soften this line up here, this yellow a bit. You see there? So we've got sort of a bubble effect on there. Do we, do we see that? So let's do another one. So again, maybe just a little bit of the green. So I'm just dipping it in here. 
And then let's do one off the page. Get some more on there, Tony, don't be tight. Like so. And then clean water on the brush. Okay. And then we're just going to drag that colour out. And before I go into the blue, I'm going to change, clean the colour off, and then go into the green. And then before I go into the blue, clean the colour off, go into the blue. And then before I go into the pink, clean it off. Like that. And then clean brush. We fill in the middle and leave a white space somewhere. I'm going to leave that bit of white space there. Can we see that there? Super, super easy. And you can manipulate, you can add water, add colour, whatever you want to do. But you can see how we're getting this sort of bubble um, design on there. So let's do a little bit more down the base here. So I'm using all the same size with just this lid off my stamp cleaning cloth. Okay, so let's do, so you're not going to see all of this background, so I am working in the areas that you are going to see. So let's go there. So again, same process, clean, clear water. Drag the colour out from the edge, and then when you get to another colour, stop, clean the brush. Clean the brush every time you drag out the colour from the edge. Clean your brush into that blue. And then the centre part, clean clear water in the middle and leave a halo. Now, I would probably leave a white space on all the right hand side so it looks like the light's coming from the same side on them all, okay? So I'm just going to fill in this area here and I'm just going to leave a patch here just on this side so it looks like it's part of. So the light is all coming from the right hand side okay so that's that one let's just do a few more um and what we'll do is we'll connect the bubbles with the smaller one Does that makes sense so you've got variation of bubbles let's get a bit more color on there like so so again same process clean brush with water so i'm green or teal into blue and then I'm going to clean my brush. Because if you just mix them all together, you don't get the bubble effect. Okay, so if you make sure you change, if you clean your brush between each colour, you will definitely get the bubble effect. Because if you don't, you're just all going to blend into one. You're not going to get that um, sort of halo effect. And then, today there's too much water. And then into the yellowy, mustardy colour, like so. And then clean your brush. And colour in the middle, making sure that the halo is all, the circles are all on the same side. Let me just get some tissue because I'm making a mess. Super easy, so you don't. So I'm just going to, so I need my white space to be on the right. So I'm just adding water. See, I've just left a little bit of an arch there. I'll just tidy this up a little bit. See how it's like. Does they look like bubbles? I hope they do, from your angle. Right, let me just get one up in this top corner here. So you need a puddle of watercolour ink. So use your ink pads, use your watercolour. If you've got your tubes from the brand event, they work fabulously with this because they're like double the pigment of what you get in a pan. They're so pigmented. So you're going to get the most beautiful if you have the if you if you've bought those so blue take off the excess i'm not sure what color i'm going into here oh mustard into mustard and i've got a bit of green and then change your brush and then so make sure that the light is all on one side so we'll go up top and drag that colour out a little bit more if you want, like so. So you see we're getting a beautiful sort of textured bubble background. I'm just going to pop one in this bottom so my um, card doesn't look sparse. 
Now my colours are starting to get a bit mucky. Can you see I'm getting a muddy mess? So you might want to do a mop up of that and then um, do a recreate of your colours because you end up with sort of like, you sort of lose your pink tone. I'm just going to, let me just colour this one first and I'll do mix some more pink. So I'm ending up with just mustard balloons, it bubbles here, look. So I might just pick up some of that pink and drop some of that pink in. There we go. So you can play around with it and then add some water, leaving a halo somewhere. When I say a halo, I just mean like a white space. Like so. So let's dry this off. Um, let me just clean this mud, mud up. Let's get my colours redone for our little balloons here. Try this off. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to do connecting bubbles. So Roxy I am using watercolour card. It works better with watercolour card, but if you don't have it, you can use it on normal card. Just don't oversaturate the card because it will just pill. as long as you leave that little white space have the courage to leave that they really do look like bubbles so I'm just going to mix some more colour now so this is where we're going to go with the little one now the little lid but if you've got a few different sized lids then absolutely you can do lots of you could do a whole bubble background if you wanted to so I'll get that lovely pink on there again And make it a nice puddle. You've got lots of um, colour on there. So that's that one. Let's go with some nice, uh, the, that lovely tealy colour. And then an orange. Just go with the three for this one now. Let's just move that aside and then let's get our little lid here. And then we'll do some little ones. See that here? And then I'm just going to swap my brush out for a smaller one because I'm working on a smaller bubble. And exactly the same. Now, if you get this sort of um, bleed, because it's not quite dry, leave it. Because that's how bubbles would look if they overlapped. And that's the beauty of it, really. So I'm just going around the edge. And again, I will absolutely, an orange there, what, leave a halo. Don't forget to leave the halo. Let's see now. Clean your brush, change the colour. Coming together, isn't it? Do you like it? Nobody's talking to me. Are you all playing? <laughs> <laughs> you must all be playing. Let's 
So I'm not doing it all because I have um, a plan for the centre and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm just cleaning my brush off. So that lovely orange, before I go into that green, I'll just clean my brush again. Oh, everybody's fascinated, really. We have done this technique before and we've done the Bokka technique as well, you know, where we do the white bub bubbles too, you know. Again, sometimes it's just a case of revisiting some of the techniques that we all know already. And then I think we'll just do a couple more and then we'll move on to the next stage. One down here. One up here. I'm doing them for speed now. I'll do them all at once. Then we'll get them all painted up at once very quickly. So again, same process. All that colour around. That's pink into orange. Into whatever colour's next. And then the green. Remembering to leave that halo somewhere, white space anywhere. And some will be brighter than others, that's okay too. Try and keep your um, bubbles circular though if you can without going around the line. There we go. Don't get a bit giddy kipper like me trying to... Get And you can totally leave a bigger white space in some of the areas if you want to. You know, don't be restrictive. Don't think, oh, it's got to be a tiny bubble. It, it really, really hasn't. As you can see, I'm ending up with a little bit of a muddy mess there because my colours have all gone together. But it still looks cool. And then the top one. Well, let's get this dried off. I'm happy with that. What do we all think? Woody Wilson. Is this using ink pads? I just used my um, watercolour fan pan, but you can use tubes. You can use your ink pads. As long as it's a dye-based ink that you can move around with water, you're good to go. So I'm just going to add some splats because we have lots of colour left on my companion. And you're all probably watching going, Adna, I can't do it. Honestly, just follow the lid. Don't connect the colours. Leave a white space. Honestly, you'll get bubbles. Balloons. Add a string. You've got your balloons. Hand-painted cards. Super easy. So that's dry. I am just going to take some of this colour and add some splats. I'll take some of the orange and just add a few splats. Just a few randoms. And I'll take a little bit of that. No, can't take the teal. It's gone to a mess. I can get some of this pink. Now you could absolutely leave it as is if you want to, but these will pretty much dry back to nothing anyway. So I'm all right with it. So let's just tidy our station a little bit here. Now I've got a piece of acetate on there. And then just dry this one off. a little bit different today so the encouragement is not only to use your stamps every time 
it's to incorporate them in with something that's not a bit of a cheat. So we can, we've all probably got bubble stamps from somewhere or balloon stamps, and they're amazing, and we like to use them, but sometimes it is cool to pick up a brush and just have a play yourself. That's the only way you're going to learn how watercolour works with water. So, you know, have the courage to at least give it a go. It's a piece of card. It can go in bin, can it? Bernadette Gallia, sorry I'm late. You're not late, sweetheart. Don't you worry. Like so. And then what you can do from there is you can take your white gel pen, you can take a regular um, pen with a, a edge to it, and you can go around, just add in, not all the way around, but just add in some detail, just bringing it to life a little bit more. So just outlining some of the areas so it just defines that balloon a little bit more. So I'm not going to do it all, but can you see how just adding that line? around let's do it as if this one's over that one can you see now and then let's go around here a little bit so not all the way around your balloon because that would make it sterile and balloons are quite sort of carefree no two sizes are probably ever the same i guess but it's just pushing it forward a little bit here with that liner pen sort of separating the designs as well so it shows you one's overlaying the other one a little bit but you can see through balloons as we all know so so i'm not gonna do it on all of them but just to set set them apart a little bit So now we've got something that's like pow, 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 pow. Oh no, not splats. <laughs> and then obviously you've got your sparkle pen, you've got a gel pen. So if you want to add a highlight in some area, but bearing in mind, we have already got this white area. We've left our white, white space in there. So you don't really need to go in with a gel pen. You can, there's no rules. Um, you know, just have fun, have fun with it. So let's set that aside. Let's bring in our next part, which is that lovely lady stamp. I'm just going to move this to one side. Let's just grab our Eureka. And we'll stamp the lady. Now, because I wanted you to be able to see lots of the bubbles in the back, I have cut this lady a little bit short. I've taken her legs off a little bit because it's still the body and still a gown. And you'll see here in a second. So you can see we've got that bouquet and we're sort of missing our legs a little bit, which is fine. So up the top there, like so. And let's stamp this lady out. And we'll stamp her in black. Do not have a steady hand. Skip the outline part if you don't have a steady hand, maybe. Um, as well. And sometimes if you don't have a steady hand, you know what sometimes helps is if you place one hand inside the other like so. People think that they have to be carefree and that there's steadiness. But if you place one hand in the other and paint from there, believe it or not, your bottom hand will steady your top hand just slightly. So always cup your hand if you have a bit of a tremor. Cup in your hand sometimes helps. I learned that from a lady who used to come to my class. Unfortunately, she's not here anymore, but yes, she used to cup her hand. She said it used to help tremendously, so hopefully. So let's just move that out of there. So gorgeous. So, What I'm going to do here is I'm going to replicate the colour in the bubbles into the lady's gown. So it sort of seamlessly transists, it follows the design through. So to get that sort of like watercolour effect without dragging it out on here, 
This is a little bit of a wet and wet technique. So if you take your water and you colour her skirt all over with water, just clean, clear water here, look. So remember, the colour will only go where you've put water. Like so. And then if you take the colour that you're wanting to pop in, so let's pop a little bit of pink in. Now you can mix it on your station if you want to. And if you drop pink into the water, it will just bleed out into the water that's there. So let's do a pink at the top. Pounce, 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 just pounce that colour in. And the water will just carry it out. Can you see it's all sort of like fusing out and you're going to get a seamless blend when you do this sort of technique where it goes from one colour into the other because the water's allowing it to sort of bleed a little bit. And then this next one, I'm going to go teal here. I'm just going to pounce this in. And then just clean, clear water, pounce the two together. And just see how you sort of like get a lovely bleed on there. And then in the base, let's go into a bluey colour. So pounce, pounce, pounce. And what you end up with is the ombre effect, where there's no lines. It just bleeds because you've already done that lay down of colour. It will just automatically bleed together. I'm just going to add a bit more pink at the top. Lost all of my pink. Still wet. So now my pink is purple because my brush isn't very clean. But I'm okay with it. And just let that work its magic. So whilst that's doing that, let's add some lovely colour to these flowers up here. And again, quite random. Nice colourful bouquet. Now I never colour the whole image. I always just like pounce it into the detail. It just gives an easier look on the eye here. So she's got the most colourful um, bouquet going on here, look. You want that skirt in real life? I need to move that colour a little bit more. And then let's add a little bit of colour to some leaves. So today we're going for that extra special card today. And then, let's try this off. Let's give her a sparkly paper bag. Some sparkle in the bouquet too, why not? She's picked up the brush the weekend for the first time, has been colouring some tulips. Oh, can you show us on our Eureka fan page? That would be lovely. We'd love to see people's hand-painted things as well. Because, you know, picking up that brush is not the easiest thing to do, is it? 
So let's get this layered onto this piece of pink because this is going to match my card. So I just need my tape pen. So a couple of things to tell you about while I'm just doing the boring things. Um, so I'm live tonight at seven o'clock and I have the full, well, not the full because we're doing it in two parts, but I have a Teresa Collins uh, sneak peek tonight with Teresa. She's going to be zooming in from the USA at seven o'clock tonight and we're going to show you the first bundle that's available on Create and Craft on the 18th. So we've put our heads together and we've designed something beautiful and we're going to show you tonight at seven o'clock. So grab that hot chocolate or whatever it is you have of an evening and come and see the show. It's not going to last long. Uh, just a quick talk around what we're doing, why we did it and the lovely and I'll show you some samples from the design team too. So come and say hello. It would be lovely for you to uh, it would be lovely to have your company tonight. It really, really would. Seven o'clock tonight. And then I'm not with you tomorrow, but I'm back with you Thursday with one last inspirational show for this lovely stamp. So that's that. And then let's bring in our pink card here. So let's get this onto our... Look how it pops from that page. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Now, it would look good with a some mirror board behind as well, but, you know... And you've painted that. You have painted that when you do it yourself. It's cool, isn't it? It's something to be proud of as well. Now I'm just using my um, tape on here, but I probably would use tape as well because it is watercolour card. I'll stick this down here. Like so. And then... How cool that looks. Gosh, I'm going to heighten it a little bit because I'm going to put my sentiment down here. So I am... Um, just one second. Put some pads behind. Stick that on in a second. Let's just get our lovely sentiment on here. Now, I think we're going to go with... Because I keep using that thank you because I like that thank you, don't I? I think I'm going to go with all mine on this one. Because I can't use the same sentiment all the time. You'll all be beating me up. So I'll put my card in my Eureka here. Take that stamp off and grab the All Mine. This is desperate for some sequins, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely desperate. <sighs> Black ink pad, here we go. And I would probably add some sparkle to my bubbles. Just bear in mind, if you do add sparkle to your bubbles, the, the wet element of your sparkle pen will reactivate that colour in the bubbles. So be quick, get it on and move on. Don't start reactivating the watercolour and getting it uh, moving around again because you'll ruin the effect of your bubbles. Hi, everyone. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Kay. Oh, I missed how to make the bubbles. Just go back. Just go back. So here we are. We'll stick this up Ooh, a bit lower. This is a bit of a creative card, isn't it? I'm not finished yet, though, nearly. So could do with some more pads behind that. I've only got two. Hey ho. And then all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my glue without splurging it all over and under her petticoat here, under her skirt where there's a petticoat, we see that here. I'm going to add some sparkle. Now I'm going to go coloured. I'm going to go pink. I would actually add some to there as well. Oh, don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time having a ball. 
Don't stop me now. This is the thing, isn't it? When you get going, I've got to get back designing them dies. I'm having such a great day. Seven o'clock tonight, wow, as well. And I'm not even sure if I can even tell you about the giveaway tonight. Like I'm telling you, you will have never seen a giveaway like I'm probably going to be able to tell you about tonight. Never. Look at that. Is that not just cool? And you painted it yourself. Come on, guys. And we've got some sparkle in a skirt. All mine. That would make a beautiful Valentine's card, or would it not? So pretty, tell me. Who's going to give it a go? Come on, who's going to give it a go? <laughs> Hopefully you will give it a go. I probably would colour her legs and arms, because her arms are getting lost in the paper bag. But, you know, have fun. Stunning. Definitely one of my favourites. Let me know under this video, is this your favourite? Which one's your favourite? Let's pop it. Shall we pop it on the back with the rest of the amazing cards? Oh, my gosh. Oh, and by the way, as well, ladies and gents, I have a list of winners for lots of giveaways that I've promised I am going to announce and haven't done so yet. I'm just going to pop it on social media. Keep your eyes peeled for that. There is about eight winners for different shows that I've said, pop a comment underneath and I'll give this away, like from when I've used Funky Fossil products, when I've used my own products. So keep your eyes peeled for that one as well. Um, I'm mindful that it's stacked up and I haven't picked any names, so that will be coming too as well. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed that little card there using the lovely stamp. Now, if you want to get involved in those stamps, the other two stamps are totally different, okay? We try and do a floral, something else, and something else. They are different. So if you want to get involved in the Create Together Club, you can catch it underneath this um, live show on our website as well. Pop Create in the search box and it will pop up. We'll send all of the stamps together. And you can go back and watch our other Create Together Club as well because we've already done it one time previous as well. One last thing I just want to tell you about before I go. Are you a club member? If the answer's yes, you're in for a treat. If the answer's no, you need to join the club. We have uh, our Black Friday event coming up on the 25th of November, which is exclusive to club members only. You pay that £15 for the year, you get that extra 5% discount, but as promised, you do get exclusive discounts and exclusive offers. It's coming up on the 25th of November, only for club members. If you're not a club member, go and get the club. The savings are out of this world. If you want to check your status on your club, all you need to do is log into your account and it'll say whether you are a club member. If you're not, then you need to reactivate it. That's all I'm saying, 25th of November. Um, for our club members. A special treat for you all. Say thank you for joining our amazing club. So whatever you're doing, stay safe, stay cosy. I'll see you all tonight, 7 o'clock with a hot chocolate, hey? It's going to be a good one. Some amazing products. See you all later, guys. Bye.